At dawn, up in the Blue Mountains, the abode of wonderful wilderness and wildlife. Life on Earth is waking up to embrace the sun amidst the mist-cladded mountains. If there is heaven on earth, it is here. A place where life expressed its potentials in full esteem. This undulating terrain, this sea of grasses and forests represents one of the magnificent expressions of life on earth. From time immemorial, life celebrated its beauty here. This is a travel from dawn to dusk in this landscape to experience nature, to experience beauty in action. We invite you to travel with us in this experience through the wonderful lifescape of Milgiri Biosphere Preserve. This vast stretch of green hills, once in 12 years, will turn completely blue due to the gregarious flowering of Strobilanthus kuntianus or Nila Kurunji. Probably that is the reason it's called Nilgiris. This is the first biosphere reserve declared by the government of India and spreads into three states, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka. Grassland shola forests in the higher reaches evergreen forests and semi-evergreen forests in the middle and deciduous forests and scrub jungles in the lower hills are the characteristic vegetation profile of this landscape. Each of these ecosystems support its own unique and rich biodiversity. As the sun travels up in the sky, life in the forest is waking up. Birds are active in search of a breakfast. Many of these wonderful species are endemic to these lands. Rhododendron is an indicator of species migration from the Himalayas to the Western Ghats. This biodiversity-rich, wonderful land is under tremendous pressure from humans. Much of this natural habitat of this unique landscape has been transformed to exotic plantations and human settlements. Human impacts on this landscape has posed many challenges to the survival of the unique biodiversity of these areas. Many of these plants, such as bryophytes, pteridophytes, lichens, 
epiphyte on the trunks and branches of the trees and rocks can collect water even from air. This water gets condensed as droplets and later drip into small water flow. Eventually, this trickle lead to smaller streams and rivulets. Finally, they end up in the rivers and big water bodies such as dams. This wonderful forest in the hills retain water for longer periods in its spongy soil and vegetation and slowly gives it to the world for longer periods through its streams. These rivulets, starting from the upper reaches of the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve, eventually become rivers downhill, such as Bhavani and Kunti, and later leads to the mighty Kaveri in the east and Bharatapura in the west. This water supports great biodiversity and life of humans on this land and downwards. A wide variety of plants, birds, mammals, reptiles, fish and insects fully depend on this water for their survival. Different ecosystems such as evergreen, and deciduous forests and scrub jungles in these hills evolved based on the local humidity and availability of water. The river which starts from the upper reaches of the hills while flowing through this landscapes work as the most important lifeline for all living beings in this region. When the water is available in plenty and the wet days in an year is considerable, naturally that area will develop into an evergreen forest. Evergreen forests can be considered as the signature forests of the Western Ghats and the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. This forest supports a large number of unique animals ranging from microorganisms and insects to birds and large mammals. There are many species specialized for living in the dark undergrowth and many adapted to the diverse and intact canopy of this forest. Among these living creatures, we can see a web of relationships in action. A web of eating each other and being eaten.
everyone is a prey and predator at the same time. This prey predator network makes the forest live and vibrant. Everyone has to find a place to make their nest or living. Everyone has to find their food, a way to escape from its enemy, the predator. Anywhere a predator will be waiting. One should be very vigilant and aware all the time. Top in the canopy, in the nest here, is one of the most unfortunate bird of this period, the white-backed vulture. It has suffered a 99% decline of its population due to human atrocities. The main cause of its decline is identified as a simple veterinary drug, diclofenac, which we use to treat our cattle. Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve still protects a small population of these vultures. As the dusk falls in, everyone has to go now, to get ready for the night, to get a fill of stomach and a safe resting place. A family of Indian gores are marching towards his resting place, while a flock of miners are using the opportunity to get some food by following them. When the heat of the day recedes, the giant fellow is also on his way for feeding. The elephant stops. Has it sensed our presence? Or is it something else? Yes, maybe it has sensed something else. The lead predator of this jungle, the most majestic and beautiful beast, is also on the prowl. But its prey are also on the vigil, and they are aware.
getting dark. Night is setting in. All are getting ready to rest. But some fellows are active now. A mongoose is busy eating its prey, a wild rat. As the darkness of the night spreads everywhere in the woods, lovers of light travel to a safe haven. It is the time of change of shift. Night workers in the dark, deep jungles are waking up and getting ready. Shifted life in the silent, dark jungle is already underway. We also have to get back. Better not disturb the peaceful life of the jungle in the night. Life in the jungle is peaceful in its own way. In fact, we have disturbed the peace of the jungle in many ways. We have destroyed their living habitats. We have killed most of them, most of the time just for our fun. Still, they are soft to us, decent to us and tolerating us. While witnessing this wonderful world, it reminds us they need our patronage for their survival. A patronage and care from our side. A pledge that we will not disturb them and do nothing to destroy them. Let us live and let live.